Just keep your head up. <laughs> so, is soccer your favorite sport, Emma? Yes, I love it. See this? It's called dribbling. Wow, Emma, you're great at dribbling. I don't think I could do that with my treads. It looks fantastic, but do you have to use your feet? I'm better at games where I use my hands. Me too. In soccer, you're supposed to use your feet. It just takes practice. Can you show us? Sure. Yay! This is how you kick it. <laughs> <laughs> All right! I've got it. Uh, I think I've got it. It's coming to me. Look out! <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Sorry, Sorry, Emma. Emma. Maybe we can go somewhere where we can get a new one. And play soccer outside where there's more room. That sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that Yay! means? <laughs> <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. soccer ball and need to find a new one. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. The bowling planet. Maybe we could kick bowling balls around. Bowling balls are way too hard, Orbit. We'd hurt our feet. <laughs> oh, how about the farm planet? There would be lots of fields to play on there. Hmm. But we need a soccer ball first. We'd just be playing with chickens on that planet. Now that looks like a planet where we could get a new soccer ball. <laughs> yes, that's the ball planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. <laughs> Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. has a ball for every game there is. If we can't find a soccer ball here, we won't find one anywhere. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Let's check this out. All right, who's ready to play? Huh? Uh, guys? Uh, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. Hey, Orbit, are you ready to play soccer? Sure, just as soon as I miss. 1006, 1007, um, 1000. Okay. 1009, 1000. But I thought. Oh. <laughs> I've got a soccer ball, TK. I'll be right with you after I hit this bucket of balls, okay? <laughs> yes! He's got the range. He's wishing he could play soccer instead? Um, gee, Emma. I'd love to play soccer, but basketball is fun, too. Can't we play that? Well, I thought we came here to get a new soccer ball and to play soccer. Is everything okay, Emma? Um, sure. It's fine. I, uh, I just really hope we could all play soccer together. Emma's right. We did say we'd play soccer when we got here. So, you want to play? Yeah! Yeah! Awesome! This is going to be tons of fun! Okay, let's try this again. Ready?
ready, TK? Are the nets supposed to be this big? Okay, Orbit. Now we pass it back and forth and try to get by Rob. Huh? Right, let's do it! person's game and see which one we all like the best. Mm -hmm. I'll go shoot hoops. I'll be practicing ping pong if anyone needs me. I've got a giant bucket of tennis balls to hit. See you. Oh, that's no fun playing by myself. I miss my friends. Oops. Look out, TK! And we have a new mission, to play a game together that everyone's good at. Let's play Super Fun Robo Ball! Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the ball planet to replace Emma's soccer ball. We found that not everyone is good at every game. But we also learned that we all have different skills. And with enough practice, you can get really, really good at a sport. I love practicing ping pong. Best of all, we learned how fun it can be to make up your own game. Especially when it's a game that all your friends can play together. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Ball Planet! Hi, everyone. 
Alan. You're just in time. Oh! Whoa! Oh! Everyone's helping me look for Doug, the stuffed dinosaur I won at the fair. Maybe Doug got stuck in the train. Not in here. He's not here either. Whoa! <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Sorry, Rob. Huh? Any luck, Squeak? Oh, it's no use. We've looked everywhere. I must have left Doug on a planet by mistake. Don't worry, Rob. If we can't find your old toy, we'll win you a brand new one. Yeah! That's a great idea, Emma. Well, that sounds like a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! Pick a planet! Pick a planet! Pick a planet! Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? I lost my toy dinosaur from the fair, and we want to go win a new one. That sounds like a fantastic mission. Let's see where you can go. Yes! That looks amazing! Playground Planet is a lot of fun, but I don't think it'll help us win a stuffed toy. Museum Planet is great for finding out about real dinosaurs, but Rob wants a toy dinosaur. Oh, now that looks like a place where we can win a prize. Yes, the Fun Fair Planet. Terrific choice. Now get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Orbit, we have to win it. Huh? How do we do that? By playing games. Each game costs one ticket. If we win, we can choose a prize. <laughs> uh -huh. Perfect. We have enough money for four tickets. That means we have one, two, three, four chances to win. We'll win that toy dinosaur in no time, as long as we work together. Hey, where'd Emma go? Emma, wait! Shouldn't we come up with a plan together? Rob's right. After all, we only have four tickets. If you use one, we'll only have three left. Don't worry! This is a dancing game. There's no way I'll lose. All I have to do is follow the pattern as it lights up on the floor. Ready, set, go. Go, Emma! Go, Emma! You're doing great! This game is too slow! My feet have got to go, go, go! Well, 
What do you think? We think your dancing is amazing. But you got so carried away, you forgot to follow the rules. Oh, no. You mean I lost? Don't worry, Emma. If we work together, we can still win a prize. Whoa! Do you guys smell what I smell? Let's go check it out! Look what I got! Candy apples for everyone! It says here that you can buy four candy apples for one ticket. Totally worth it! But now that you've used up your ticket, you can't play a game. Don't worry, I've got it covered. Don't forget your candy apple! Whoa! Oops! <laughs> Guess this is what they call a sticky situation. Whack a frog huh? is my favorite game. How do you play? When the frogs pop up, you have to knock them back down with the mallet. But you can't miss even one, or you lose. Whoa, 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 whoa. That sounds pretty hard, TK. And we only have two more tickets, which is only two more chances to win the dinosaur. No problem. I'm great at this game. Hey. Hey, the mallet's missing. Oh, no. You can't play without a mallet. Seth. What are you going to do? I'm sure I've got something that will do the trick. A hammer! Perfect. <laughs> Go. Way to go, TK! Almost! Got it! Oh. Let go! I'm stuck! Oh. Hey! The candy apples got unstuck! Lost my game. Oops. Sorry, TK. Looks like I've got the last ticket and the last chance to win the toy dinosaur. I guess it's up to you, Rob. Uh. All you have to do is ring the bell, and you'll win the game. I can't look. What if we don't win the prize? Come on, Rob. It's all up to you. Ooh. All up to me? You can do it. Come on, Rob. Yay, Rob! Together, I'd say that's a big mission accomplished. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> mission control? Hi, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the Fun Fair Planet so we could win a new toy dinosaur. But things didn't go exactly as planned. First, Emma got so excited, she forgot to follow the rules. Then Orbit spent all of his tickets on candy apples for everyone. And when TK tried to win a prize playing whack a she got a little... Mm, stuck. Then it was my turn to try, but the hammer was too heavy for just one person. Things worked out when we all worked together to win the prize. That's a wonderful lesson, Rob. Well done. I'd say it's time to head home. 
five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Fun Fair Planet! The brave adventurers made their way from the mystical minds of Mumu and on towards Mount Boom. But can the heroes survive the spooky woods? The bridge of Crackaboom and the scary space trolls? <gasps> Find out in book two. <laughs> <sighs> what are we going to do now? We'll have to wait forever to find out how the story ends. Hmm. I have an idea. Why don't we have an epic adventure? Let's act out the book and make up an ending of our own. Yeah! yeah! Great idea! And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go somewhere we can have an epic adventure and act out the ending of our book. That sounds fantastic. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Sports can be full of action and drama, but I don't think it's the right place for a storybook make-believe. Ooh, sticky candy is excellent. But it doesn't seem right for a story either. Mm. What about that one? Yeah, Storybook Planet would be great. <gasps> yes, that's the perfect place for you to act out a fantastic story adventure. Now, get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. <laughs> Greetings, travelers! Who comes looking for adventure on Storybook Planet? I'm Rob. These are my friends Orbit, Emma, and TK. And we're here to act out one of our favorite stories. It's called Spells and Space Trolls. <laughs> if you're going to act out a fantastic fairy tale, you need to look the part. Just step through the costume maker, and you'll soon be ready to step into your story. <laughs> wow, Orbit! You look amazing! Not Orbit! I'm Orbal the Orange! A mighty wizard! <laughs> Make way for Eminem the Barbarian! Fearless and strong! <laughs> I'm Lagless, the super speedy elf princess! Ready for action! <laughs> I'm Robogorn the Ranger! Ranger, Barbarian, Elf and Wizard! You are the Fellowship of the Robots! Your adventure awaits! Oh. Now, take this magic bracelet. It will help you to find your way back to the rocket. What do you mean, back to the rocket? It's right th huh? huh? Wow, that's strange. One thing between you all. Leave no friend behind. The magic bracelet leads the way. The rocket you must find. The bracelet will guide us. Huh? Whoa! Huh? Huh? Come on, the rocket must be this way. Oh, it's just like in the storybook. The adventurers arrived at the dark and spooky woods. <laughs> the ghosts of the woods will let you pass if you leave us a gift, something that will last. Ghosts! They're not real, everyone.
everyone. It's just a story, remember? Well, I'm not afraid. Give me the bracelet, and I'll go on ahead and come back for you once I reach the rocket. What you must give is worth a lot, and with each other, lose it not. But if you fight, you'll have to mend this gift I seek that rhymes with end. I know what the ghost wants. Oh, great spirits of the spooky woods. What will you give us to let you pass? We'll give you our friendship. Friend rhymes with end. Yes, you may pass the woods safely. <laughs> you did it, Orbit. <laughs> Easy peasy. Oh, wise wizard Orball, the path is this way. Right, I knew that. <laughs> Adventurers explore the cosmic caves where they encounter the bridge of Crackaboom. Isn't this where they also meet? <laughs> seem to be having so much fun. <clears throat> I thought I'd like to play along in your adventure, too. Hey, wait, where's the bracelet? Oh, no, Squeak has the magic bracelet. How will we find the rocket now? TK, you must have something in your tummy trunk that will get Squeak to come back. And Eminon, if Squeak can be lured back, someone will have to snatch the bracelet. But what about you guys? I've got my rocket boots. I can pull the others out. Hurry and get Squeak, or we'll never get the bracelet back. I've got just the thing to catch Squeak. Squeak's mouse food. Good thinking, TK. You stay here and shake the box. <laughs> Squeak! Dinner time! Oh, gotcha! Yeah! Nice going, Eminem. Uh. Uh. Rob! You did it! You got the bracelet! Mm -hmm. Every one of us has a job in this fellowship. And yours is carrying this bracelet to lead us back home. We must be close. Let's go! And the mighty adventurers journeyed past the spooky woods, through the cosmic caves. With friendship and teamwork, they made it to Mount Boom, where they found their rocket. I'd say that's an epic mission accomplished. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? Our 
story ended, so we went to Storybook Planet to act out our own adventure. But we all got carried away and forgot about our fellowship. Every role is important, but they only tell a story if they all work together. Well done! I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up! Five! Four! 